Apart from the high-end servers used for industrial applications, some of you might also want to set up a server at home for media streaming, network storage, and personal computing as per your needs. But the only problem you'll face while purchasing home server CPU is, which one to pick? There are too many manufacturers in the market. My today's video is about top 5 best home server CPU that's are available in the market. If you want to know price and more information about the products that mentioned in this video, you may check the link in description box below. So now let's get started. Starting at AMD Ryzen 5 Home Server CPUs. AMD and its Ryzen 5 series of processors have been some of the most popular options in the past few years especially when it comes to affordable and entry-level processor options including this one. This home server CPU comes with 6 cores and 12 threads. More importantly, you get a base clock speed of 3.9 GHz and a boost clock speed of up to 4.4 GHz with this processor. And since AMD even includes a 16M cache with this home server CPU, you can expect quite amazing performance from it. You even get the AMD Radeon Vega 7i GPU with this processor, which offers fairly great performance. Coming to the compatibility of this processor, it uses the AMD AM4 CPU socket for connecting to your motherboard. You also get support for up to 128GB RAM with up to 3200MHz DDR4 speeds for decent performance at the given price. Despite being an entry-level home server CPU, this AMD Ryzen 5 also supports overclocking for both the CPU and memory speeds. And the best part about this processor is that you get all of this at a fairly low TDP of just 65 watts which makes this processor quite practical. Now our second product is AMD Ryzen 7 Home Server CPUs. You can also find higher-end CPU offerings from AMD under its Ryzen 7 lineup which are definitely on the expensive side but still offer a great value for money for those who want something more powerful. Unlike most other home server CPUs in its class, this AMD One features 8 cores and 16 threads which is perfect for a home server. In fact, even with the given core count, you still get a pretty great base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost clock of up to 4.6 GHz with this processor. That being said, even with the higher price tag, this AMD Ryzen 7 only features 16M cache which is a bit low. Another similarity between this and the Ryzen 5 CPU is the AMD Radeon Vega 7i GPU used by it. Because this is an AMD CPU of the previous generation, it relies on the AMD AM4 CPU socket for installation in your motherboard. Since this is a high-end AMD Ryzen processor, its support for up to 128GB RAM at up to 3200MHz DDR4 speeds is to be expected. And because you would want the best performance out of such a high-end AMD processor, it also supports both CPU and memory overclocking for even better performance. In case you are worried about the TDP of this high-end CPU, you will be glad to know that it is rated for just 65 watts which is definitely amazing. Our third product is Intel Core i7 Home Server CPUs. Intel and its Core i7 series can also be a great option if you are in the market for something powerful that can be used for both gaming as well as other applications like building a home server. Since this is a newer Intel processor, it features a unique core and thread layout which includes 8 performance cores, 4 efficiency cores, and 20 threads. And even with the given number of threads, you get amazing base clock speeds of 2.7 GHz and 3.6 GHz along with boost clock speeds of up to 3.8 GHz and 5.0 GHz for the efficiency and performance cores, respectively. While it may not be the highest, its included 25M cache is definitely quite good. The Intel UHD 770i GPU used by this processor also offers fairly high-end performance. Unlike AMD's processor offerings, this Intel processor uses the Intel LGA1700 CPU socket. And if you have a compatible motherboard, you can use up to 128GB RAM at up to 4800MHz DDR5 speeds, which is definitely a great thing. 
If this much performance is not enough for you, then you will be glad to know that this home server CPU supports both CPU and memory overclocking since it is a K-series processor. That being said, unlike AMD's processors, this Intel is not the most efficient one due to its given TDP of 125 watts. Now number 4, Intel Core i9 Home Server CPUs. Intel's Core i9 lineup of processors is its top-of-the-line offering which is ideal for those who do not have any specific budget restrictions and want the best possible performance for their home server. Similar to the previous Core i7 offering from Intel, this one also uses a unique core and thread layout which includes 8 performance cores, 8 efficiency cores, and 24 threads. Being a top-of-the-line CPU, it offers amazing base clock speeds of 2.4 GHz and 3.2 GHz along with boost clock speeds of up to 3.9 GHz and 5.2 GHz for its efficiency and performance cores respectively. Another great thing about this Intel Core i9 CPU is that you get 30M cache with it. While it might not be the most powerful, its Intel UHD 770i GPU is still good for basic media encoding. Just like the previously mentioned Intel Core i7 CPU, this one also uses the Intel LGA1700 CPU socket for installing this processor. Another benefit of going with the newer version of Intel processors is that it also supports up to 128GB RAM at up to 4800MHz DDR5 speeds. As you would expect from a top-of-the-line Intel processor, this K-series CPU allows you to overclock the CPU as well as the memory if needed. Unfortunately, because you get such high performance numbers with this CPU, it has a pretty high TDP of 125 watts which is certainly something to keep in mind. And our last choice is Intel Core i5-12400 Home Server CPUs. Intel also offers standard models of its mainstream Core i5 processors that can be ideal for those who are looking for something more affordable instead of going with the best possible performance numbers. Unlike the higher NK series processor, this one offers a more common core layout which includes 6 cores and 12 threads in total. And with the given cores and threads, you get a fairly decent base clock speed of 2.5 GHz and a boost clock speed of up to 4.4 GHz. You even get 18M cache with this Intel processor, which is pretty good for the given price tag. That being said, unlike higher NK series processors, this one comes with the entry-level Intel UHD 730i GPU. Thankfully, Intel still uses the standard Intel LGA1700 CPU socket with this processor for maximum compatibility. It even supports up to 128GB RAM at up to 4800MHz DDR5 speeds for the best possible performance. And while this non-K-series processor does not support CPU overclocking, it still features memory overclocking support. But the best benefit of going with a non-K-series Intel processor is that it has a TDP of just 65 watts, which is much more practical than high-end K-series CPUs. So what do you think about this video? If you think this video is really helpful to take your decision easier, kindly subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to notify our upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video.